Hello, this is Mansur Suhail from My Learning Center, and I'll talk about do's and don'ts of GMB, Google My Business. We have all heard about Google My Business, also known as Google Local Business Listings. If you operate a company and are not using this platform, you're missing out on a lot more than you might imagine. Are you throwing a party this weekend or searching for a dry cleaner? Simply Google it. Technology is improving and your customers are growing more knowledgeable. Every day, Google processes nearly 5 billion searches, whether through search results or a map query. Just putting in a modest amount of work to brand your company on this platform delivers a wealth of useful information to potential clients, increasing your company's visibility. GMB, like other internet tools, has drawbacks. Things are becoming more critical to obtain a whole image of it, or you will end up tearing your hair out. Do's Appear in map searches on Google. Customers assess the distance from their current location when looking for a store. Google Maps assists users in locating nearby businesses by displaying a slew of red markers that each match their search criteria. As a result, double check your information and don't forget to include a keyword in your title. Schedule an appointment. If you own a business that accepts appointments, such as pet grooming or haircuts, Google My Business has a nice feature that allows you to book appointments without leaving the SERP. A searcher merely needs to click on a specific URL to be taken to the section of your website where your calendar is managed. Customers must be contacted. It's not easy to gain customer trust online. You must keep communication with your potential consumers, which you can accomplish easily using the Google Hangout function, which allows you to not only answer their questions, but also advertise your promotions and specific offers. It is simple to host a Hangout. Simply go to the button of your GMB dashboard and click on Join a Hangout. It comes with texting, chat, and VOIP capabilities. As a result, you will be able to stay in touch with your clients while also attracting more traffic to your organization. Gather feedback from the internet. The reviews are the first thing that customers see when they visit your GMB page. The evaluations, in addition to the photographs and other factors, establish a first impression. Responding to reviews, whether positive or negative, builds trust and influences your customers. This gives you an idea of what can be done better or differently. When you consistently produce high quality items and services, you will begin to receive more positive feedback and a high rating over time. Customers should be rewarded for sharing images. Encourage customers to photograph the product and the experience they had with it. This will be added to the gallery of photos in my business. It is worth noting that people can also come up with low quality products or negative evaluations. Social networking sites. Because we already know how effective social media is for reaching out to potential customers, Google began using social media signals into its search rankings. The aim is to link your Google My Business listing to social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Searchers will learn more about your firm as a result of this and you will be able to create your brand online. 
don'ts. Ignoring or arguing with clients is a bad idea. Try to respond to every review. Even if it is just a quick thank you. Try to change bad evaluations into positive ones by providing something extra or at a reduced price. This provides the impression that you are about your clients and do not want them to be dissatisfied. This also aids in the development of client trust. Using images that are of poor quality or are fake. Never underestimate the power of photos to entice your customers and keep them on your page for an extra minute. Don't use photographs from other websites because you can face copyright concerns. Listed twice. Duplicate listing is against Google's terms of service. And appearing twice in local search can be confusing and unpleasant for users. Most businesses try to create a new page when they establish a new location or move to a new location. But this should not be the case. Instead, update the listing you already have. Remove or report multiple listings produced by the same email address. And finally, the conclusion. Google My Business is an excellent tool for connecting your company with clients. Make your listings as accurate, informative, and healthy as possible. If you have multiple locations around the country, then get some experienced hands to help you with it. Thank you for listening, folks. Join our Facebook group, My Learning Center. Subscribe to our channel, My Learning Center, on YouTube. Visit our website for quality ebooks, audio courses, HD video courses, and many more.